we really specialize in um, a, a lot of people come to us for advice on dental insurance actually and that's kind of how we get the conversation started a lot of the time because there's so much there's there's just really a lot of bad information out there about about dental insurance and there there are these things out there called discount plans and you know there's all kinds of stuff out there um and so we kind of or i kind of specialize in helping people with some more advanced strategies when it comes to dental coverage and then of course we also will help people of any age we we help people uh, if you know if they're under 65 and and they need to get like a short-term health plan or they need to get on the affordable care act marketplace uh we we do that as well so um yeah i'm, I'm not sure if that's what you're what you're no. looking for there or. That's, that's perfect that uh, <laughs> okay. those are the two areas i lean on you for for advice especially the uh affordable care act under 65 health insurance i'm I know I'm constantly bugging you with questions about that because most of our clients are, as the name suggests, over 65. And right. so we don't do yeah. a whole lot with the uh, with the under 65 health insurance. But that that market space has uh, been in a, a, a bit of a flux for about the last you know 12 years or so, whatever that uh, yeah. 14 years now, I guess. And and uh, a lot of agents got out of it, got out of individual health insurance and. And uh, the ones that are left are the ones that kind of stuck it out and learned how that that system worked and and learned how to help people with it. And, and a, a lot of times it is kind of bringing multiple pieces of, of a puzzle together to kind of fill those gaps. And so when you say uh, ancillary products uh, for our listeners that don't, don't know, that's you may have your health insurance, but it may, it's got gaps. You know, it's got cost sharing on certain things and and certain things it doesn't cover at all. But there may be this other little product over here. Like dental health, dental insurance, you know, is a, is a perfect example. You know, we always you know, said Medicare doesn't really cover anything for dental. Original Medicare doesn't, and so if you're on Original Medicare and a supplement, well, you're probably going to want to add a ancillary product in the in the form of a, a dental plan. Uh, or if you're on Medicare Advantage, they might or may or may not have dental coverage, and if they don't, well, we, you may want to fill that gap. And that's well, what I, you've really gotten. Yeah bringing those pieces together, but you've got to be careful with it because you can, you start running that monthly premium bill up pretty quick, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Now there are, there are things that you can do, you know, um, like even, even if you've got a Medicare Advantage plan, most of the, most of the dental coverage on Medicare Advantage plans, of course, I'm not speaking about a specific carrier or specific sure. coverages because we can't do that, but, but, um, most of the dental coverage that comes with advantage plans is not full bodied let's say you know it's a lot a lot of it is you know for cleanings or exams or x-rays but you know if you need to get in there and get some major work done boy you better hope that you got put in the correct advantage plan because most of them come with you know if they do come with dental it's very basic coverage right so we work with a ton of different dental uh, insurance carriers out there and uh, some even provide coverage for major work uh, uh, right from day one, including implants. Uh, and we get a lot of calls for people looking for help with implants and that kind of thing. I love what you say about dental insurance, Ron, which is, you know, it doesn't matter what carrier you go with or what plan you get. Dental insurance, like Medicare, is always going to disappoint, you know, yeah. <laughs> at some level, right? So, so you've got to find those plans and and talk with somebody that understands kind of the uh, how those plans work and whether or not they'll work together, whether or not they coordinate benefits. You know, I'm putting a lot of technical stuff out there, but this is all stuff that 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 you know I'm an expert on and that that I do every day and help people out and structure plans. Some sometimes we'll write more than one dental plan on a family or a person because that's that's the best way to maximize their benefit. You know. And then we talk to them about whether or not that's a, a good thing to do. It's, you know, but yeah, there's a lot of holes in a lot of different coverages surrounding Medicare and even the Affordable Care Act, right? You know, there are some, uh, there are some carriers that will allow you to bundle uh, dental on the marketplace with them. But again, you're not talking about like fully realized, fully functional dental insurance, like some of the carriers that we, some of the individual carriers are, that we work with, right, that can provide better coverage like that. Again, I don't want to harp on the dental stuff too much, but you know that's yeah. that's definitely a place where we we specialize and we help people get get that squared away for themselves. So yeah, yeah. well, I'm going to harp on it for just another moment because I think <laughs> you, you mentioned something, and I already know this about you, but you you are you're you're a planner, 
And, and so you can take somebody like, I hate to admit it, but when somebody calls us and say, we, I need, I need a root canal next week. Our, our response a lot of times is, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You know, it's just, you, you just, it's hard to do, but what you are good at and you have taught me over the, the time that I've been getting to know you is that we're able to plan for major dental work to be covered or mostly covered by insurance, but it may involve multiple policies kind of kind of kicking in over a period of time because some policies, like you said, do cover major dental work day one, but it's limited. And, and But most are going to not cover any major dental work for six or 12 or 18 months. And so we kind of have to uh, maybe ladder is a, is a good way to say it. we ladder those policies to, to get you the best coverage. We still might not be able to help you with that root canal next week, but at least we can have a plan going forward to get you more coverage and care uh, over a period yeah. of time. Yeah, I mean, you bring up a good point, right? You know, um, now there are carriers that will would be able to help that person that needed that root canal next week. But I am, I am, uh, I don't know if I want to admit this live on the radio, but I am a little bit of an insurance nerd, right? I actually read the policies, <laughs> you know, uh, which which puts me at, not for nothing, but that sometimes puts me ahead of the competition, right? Because mm -hmm. I understand how those policies work and and what how to structure those scenarios and and get them put put somebody in a plan that's going to actually help them for example my wife and i we carry three dental plans on ourselves not cuz we're rich cuz we're not we do that because those policies don't work together okay which is really important right there's a thing in insurance called coordination of benefits and you need to make sure that if you're going to get multiple policies that they do not coordinate benefits with each other. And if you do that and you work it out right, you, you can have those insurance policies pay as if they're the only policy. And right. then, and, and you can take some of that overage that, that the second or the third policy would pay. And when you get that refunded to you from the dentist, you can use that to help pay down your premium. It's sort of, again, this is sort of an advanced strategy, but it's one that works really well. I think it is important though, to, to say that that's, that strategy is not for everybody. If you have- It is absolutely teeth, not for everybody. That's right. Your, if, if you have good teeth and you just go and get your cleanings twice a year, well, you definitely don't want to be doing that. 